welcome to the Marine Channel from the Dusseldorf Boat Show. If you're watching this in the UK and looking at the boat behind me, you might think I'm about to show you a Dutchie or a Dale or even the new Rustler 41. But no, this is the Gaiotta Lobster 35. And it is a very pretty boat and a very well built boat. Come with me and have a look around. So let's start on the platform here and there's lots of really nice features. The first one is, if we just look down here, we've got a really, really sturdy bathing ladder. And then to help you aboard, you've got a brilliant handhold. Because some bathing ladders can be really kind of wobbly and you uh, flail around a bit. But this transom is just beautiful and these seats have got to be the best seats in the house, haven't they, for your sundowners just at the end of the day. There's two options you can have on this boat. So this one has the companionway here, which is for ease of access. But if you want, you can have this filled in, in which case this becomes a step and you step over and into the cockpit like that. I think I prefer this. It's much easier in terms of access. Just over here, we've got a little deck shower in there. So if you come out of the water, you can wash off. And just look at the quality of these beautifully finished handles. Now the shipyard is 75 years old and they pride themselves on their quality of workmanship, their craftsmanship. And the word that used a lot was the word love. So when he says I, we make it out of three things, we make it out of varnish, we make it out of wood and we make it out of love, which is a great little touch and I think shows the passion. So let's step into the cockpit itself. And the first section we've got, which is all this section and if you just look here you can see these hinges here this whole section lifts up and gives you access to those two 270 horse engines under there let's have a look at that happening right let's come in here and what we do have is a superb seating area and a very comfy seating area I must say. I think sitting here whether you're underway or at anchor is going to be a very comfortable place but the one thing I am lacking is somewhere to put my drink but in fact I'm not. So as you can see from that, we have a really large table, folds up and sinks into the floor, so it's absolutely out of the way. And as the dealer here said, it's the only boat here at the show that you can actually dance on the table. Right, let's go forward again and we come into this next section and we've got another really nice feature here. And if I just open this up, so this is obviously a storage locker, but if I do that, I then have a little table, so perhaps I'm having a coffee, I don't want to get the big table out, perhaps I've got my laptop, I've got to do some work, but it's just a really nice feature and a really good use of a cupboard door. I can lift this up, so under here we have a great storage area, plus we've got our batteries down here, but this might be where you throw your covers, I don't know, your fenders, whatever. Also down there are the poles for our sunshade. So our sunshade slots into this track here, the poles go back there, and this whole area you can have some protection from the hot sun. Now this piece of cushion is an interesting piece as well. So if you imagine the table up there, this drops in here and gives you an extra seat at the dining table. So everything is very ingenious. So this is the galley area, and just look at that. There isn't a sharp corner on this boat. Everything is produced with beautiful curves. If I look under here, we've got a really nice sized sink. We've got an induction double hob.
And under here, we have a fridge. And under here, we've got storage, but that storage can also be accessed from this beautiful curved cupboard. And just look at the finish on these doors. They're as good on the inside as they are on the outside. Right, let's come forward to the helm area. And what we've got on the port side is a nice bench seat for your passengers. Maybe if you're going underway, you want to be in here out of the wind and the, possibly the, the spray. If you're sitting at the helm, we've got a really nice helm station. We've got a bolstered seat so I can sit or stand. I'm gonna stand for this minute. Everything in front of me is really accessible. It's quite an angle, but I like it. It's, it just means you can see everything. I've got a steering compass. I've got my screen, obviously. I've got my engine controls. Everything is digital about the engine. You can see all the, the trim, the revs, the, um, which gear you're in. I've got my uh, trim tabs here. I've got my bow thruster. Because this is stern drive, we've got a joystick facility with a sky hook, so we can anchor the boat or lock the boat in one particular position some lovely chunky chrome throttles and steering here. And what I've also got up here is a really nice sunroof, which is so easy to open and close. Just rolls back. So if you suddenly had a shower, you can close that in two seconds. If I just look down here, I've got another storage area. And the guys on the stand call this the wine cellar because you can store your wine there. It's against the hull, so it's going to keep it cool. Okay, let's go down into the accommodation. Again, the beautiful finish down here continues. I mean, they describe these as a lobster boat. And it has quite a kind of, I suppose, Maine, New England kind of style. But the finish is really high quality again. Look at that floor. Beautiful wide steps. We've got storage here. If I open this, we've got our switch panel. All our circuit breakers. Over here, I've got the controls. This boat has air con. It's got a fusion stereo as well. We've got a lovely sofa there for three people and an additional one over here. Lots of storage as well. The deep one there goes back under the bed. And then in here, a really nice one, part hanging, part just storage and a very cosy bed. with a hatch up top and those ports to the side. I love this panelling here, broken up with the wood inserts. It's very chic, very elegant. And then we've got our bathroom. So we've got a loo, shelving, we've got storage under the sink there. It's a really nice sink unit, all one piece. And that is your shower there that you can grab and it'll drain through into that grate. And we've got a light there for natural light and ventilation. Again, if we just look at the door, it carries on there. So if I close that, I find that they line up perfectly. I have to say the fit and finish of this boat is exceptional and something they are very proud of. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Something a little bit different and not your typical med boat. Price of this boat, starting at 490,000 euros. That's the base price. One spec well is gonna come in at about 575. That's X VAT. Speed of this boat with these 270s, it's going to do about 31, 32 knots. So you can cruise about 25, 24, 25, something like that. A very civilized cruising speed and a very comfortable boat to be on. If you have enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe we've got a lot of videos already on there and lots more coming up hit that bell button as well and we can let you know when we do launch a new video thanks very much for watching and we'll see you on the next one